Hey, welcome to our final C Group session of the Soul Awakening Tour. We call it the tour, we'll call it sessions, whatever. We're gonna explore some great, great things in this session. Now listen, I know, I can guarantee that as we were all growing up that we heard one thing from our parents, be nice. Did you hear that from your parents? Because I know I heard it from my parents. Now on a good day, they were trying to build into our personalities and they wanted to raise nice kids. On a bad day, they just didn't want us to embarrass them, right? And if you're like me, you said plenty of things to embarrass your parents. So your parents were trying to raise not just a nice kid, but a good kid. They want you to be nice, but they desired that you did good things. And they likely wanted you to act like or look like somebody else. So maybe they had a role model that they would say, you should be more like such and such, right? Did you ever have parents say like that? I wish you were more like that. Or why don't you act like that? So. My brother and I were, were young. I think I was maybe, I must have been 18 and my brother was 16. And we had a curfew at home. And I think the curfew was like midnight or something by the time I was, I was 18. And I uh, kind of had a reputation for not getting in trouble. I don't, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying I didn't get in trouble. My brother, quite the opposite. And so one morning I came down and this was really uh, the only time, mom, if you're watching it, it is the only time that I ever broke curfew. And I was out until about two in the morning. But my parents didn't know that I got home at two instead of midnight, because midnight was my curfew. They didn't know that I got home at two because they would fall asleep. Scotty's never late, don't worry about it. So I come in at 2 a.m. Well, my brother found out that I was in at 2 a.m., but I knew he wasn't gonna say anything. Well, I don't remember what my brother did to get himself in trouble at this point, but I remember the next morning after I had broken curfew, but nobody knew. The next morning we're standing in the kitchen and I walk in or my, my mom and my brother are standing in the kitchen. I walk in and my mom is chewing my brother out. I mean, she is up one side of him and down the other for, I don't know what he was doing, but he's standing looking at my mom and then I'm standing behind my mom. So my back is, or my mom's back is to me and I'm looking at my brother and she is just, you're this and why did you and you broke this and that and that. And my mom trying to raise a nice boy with my brother, still working on him, trying to raise a boy to do good still working on it, says to him, why don't you be more like your brother Scott? At which point my brother, who knew I had broken curfew the night before, looks at me and I said, no, no, no. And she just continues on. I don't know why you do that. And you should be like Scott and you should be like your brother and you should take some cues from your brother. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, no, no. And finally he looks at her and he says, well, your son Scott came in two hours past curfew last night. At which point, my whole world got very slow and my mother turned around and looked at me. And she unleashed some discipline upon me that day. And I don't think that she really said to my brother much after that point, here's a role model, here's somebody that you should be like, right? Well, in 1 Thessalonians chapter five, in verses 14 and 15, Paul tells us that we need to do good. And he gives us some great instructions to follow and he gives us a great role model to follow. See, the exciting thing is that we see this doing good lived out in the life of Jesus. He is our ultimate role model. So in this C group session, we're gonna look at the five actions that Paul mentioned, and then we're gonna overlay those actions with an, uh, an example of Christ and an encounter that Jesus has. And what we're gonna find is that Jesus gave us this phenomenal role model to follow when it comes to doing good. Now, I am always excited when we're able to dig deep into the Bible, especially when it comes to looking closer at the life of Christ. I know that you're gonna be encouraged. May God bless you deeply in this session as your soul awakens and you take a step closer to Christ, our ultimate role model.